my channel, it's Lorena here. For those of you who are new, welcome. And those of you who are joining me again, thank you so much for your continued support. I am a fifth year kindergarten bilingual teacher here in the state of New Jersey. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the things that I purchased at my local Target and what I plan on using them for in the classroom. So stay tuned and hopefully you can find and get inspired, get some ideas and share ideas with me. I'd love to know what are some other ways that I can possibly use these things in my classroom. Now you're screaming all your thoughts and now you're right back at you. We are mutually Alright guys, so I'm going to show you the amazing things that I got at Target today um, and hopefully this will inspire you, maybe give you some ideas and of course check out your local Target if you are interested in doing so. So we're going to start off with some of the things that I've been seeing on Instagram a whole lot um, which are these borders. I am obsessed with them. They are so beautiful. They are so neutral um, and it does come double sided and they are a dollar for 14 strips. Now I got three of them just because my bulletin board outside of my classroom is pretty big and I'd rather have more than less because these probably will fly out of their shelves. So these again are $1. This is what they look like in the front and this is what they look like in the back. The other things that I got that I know many of my Target teachers probably already have in their classrooms are the mini erasers. So I got three of them and these are shapes. So it has your basic shapes. And I got these, you know, to use during math center time and to reinforce shape skills. Along with that, I also found these shape finders, which come in a pack of five shapes for $1. And this is what they look like. Package, a dollar. And these are great. I think this is a great way to kind of incorporate shape learning in the classroom and it's also a different alternative to kind of just having them sit and you know write on a worksheet or do that kind of stuff. This will get them up and moving. My plan is to kind of have them go on a shape scavenger hunt in the classroom using these magnif not magnifying glasses, these shape finders um, and just you know maybe giving them a recording sheet with like on a clipboard and they can just check off when they found something that's square shaped or rectangle shaped and maybe they could even tally um, every time that they find a shape that matches with this. So this is, I thought this was great. Whoop. There goes that. I'm sure that's going to happen in kindergarten as well. So I got two of them. I am looking for two more sets because I want to use this as a center and typically in a center I have four kiddos. So I am looking for four, for two more of them. So that's that. I also found these safety lanyards and the reason why they're called safety lanyards is because this is specific to children who have a food allergy. It's pretty much says, hello, I have a food allergy with blank and you can stick the sticker on it, which these stickers come pre, uh, written out so it'll say pe it says like peanuts honey seafood whatever the case may be you can stick it on there that way when the child goes to lunch um you know that they have something that kind of lets everyone around them know what they are allergic to i guess um yeah this is important even if you have your own children this is great for the first day of school kind of like if you're unable to talk to with the classroom teacher or if you are you know scared that maybe a note gets overlooked or whatever the case may be it's a great thing to have for your kiddo now these are the scratch offs that I showed you in part one of the Target haul and I just bought another pack just because I thought that for the price and considering um, the quality and what they are, I just wanted to have more rather than less and they're only a dollar. These are the scratch off stickers and just there's, I feel like this is so, um, what is the word I'm looking for? You can use this in so many different ways in the classroom setting, um, even like at home things like that so this is a great find i bought another pack of that and i found what i was looking for which is more wooden balance games i told you in the last video that i use this for my morning towel when the kiddos come in it's more of like a way to kind of for them to just relax not have anything so drilling and academic you know as soon as they walk in it's like it's fun while also academic now i think that you can also use this as a center um, kind of like a, the way to introduce a center, you know, you put this out on the table, maybe have, especially now, having one for each child and they can work on this before they do a activity. So for example, if you're doing math centers, I would probably set this up kind of like as something to engage them into the activity that's coming. So I thought these were great. I wish I could find more. Um, I am on the hunt for another one just so that I could have four sets for a math center. Oops, there goes that. Um, I also found these, another set, um, the building block game. This is 
However, considering the amount of Lego pieces that are here, block pieces that are here, and that it already comes pre kind of written out, I thought this was great, it comes in a Ziploc baggie. I got another set just because I think that it will be easier for students to share, and I don't think there'll be any disagreements um, with this. I guess share is not the right word considering everything that's going on, but hopefully in the future, you know, they are able to share this, um, and it's just a great thing to have in the classroom. Another thing that I got was dry erase boards. I got five of these. They were only $1. And I believe that on Target's website, they do also have dry erase boards. I'm not sure if they have this particular style, but I do know that they have dry erase boards if you want to purchase it through there and see what options they have. So this is great to use for literacy, for math, or whatever it may be. Obviously for literacy, you know, they can write a sentence here and then they can draw a matching picture, you know, labels and all that fun stuff. And for math, I'm thinking of using these for math stories, math sentences, where we kind of write an equation on the bottom, three plus two, and then they show that as a picture here. Whether it's, you know, three butterflies in the sky and then two coming from the other side, and then they explain it. I only brought four, I mean five, for math centers, like guided math time. I didn't buy a class set just because um, it does add up and um, I have other dry erase boards in the classroom. So these I thought would be, oh, that's backwards. Would be great for a small group setting. The next thing that I purchased was the calendar cards. Um, I, in my classroom currently, we use the Promethean board, which is like a smart board for morning um, time, and that's where we have our calendar and stuff like that. But I got this in the event that I do have to do remote learning from home for the beginning of the year, just kind of have it at hand. And it was only a dollar, they come pre-cut. And the best part about it, as you know, I am a bilingual teacher, which means that my instruction is in both English and Spanish, primarily Spanish in the beginning of the school year. So this is wonderful because it comes in Spanish as well as English. I should have said that. Um, another thing that I purchased that I was seeing some teachers kind of post on Instagram and then YouTube videos that I was like, I need to find them. Um, so I found these, the connecting, the magnetic counting leads. They are $3. And I got it in two styles. So I got the crayon one and the octopus one. And my plan is to use these as a math center in the beginning of the year. So again, like I talked about before, I think it's important to have something that'll engage the kids, not just, you know, a worksheet or stuff like that, especially when they're coming in in September. I feel like they're such babies when they come in, um, specifically my demographic. This is their first schooling, formal schooling experience for many of them. So I want to try to make things fun, make things engaging. And this is one way that I can do that, which is like up, um, the whole play-based approach where they're learning through play. And that is the case here. So I got four, so I can use it as a center. Each child can have their own kind of counting maze with something next to it that can, where they can record their responses and I can kind of take that as formal proof of their learning, whether it be, um, you know, in a side of a pocket sleeve or just like writing their numbers from one through eight and showing me, showing me, you know, what eight looks like, how it can be represented and things like that. So this was fun. I got four of them. Um, I also got these stamps these punch stamps. Now I think that these are meant to go with Target's um, punch card incentive cards. However, I don't use that for this. I use this um, where I have the students use them and I'm gonna show you in another video some centers that I do that are super easy. They do not require any anything crazy um, and how I use these for students to show me their understanding of math. And, oh, I do have, all right. So something else that I found that I thought was great were these plastic paint trays. Now these are, I guess, designed to use specifically in the art center. You know, you kind of put paper here and you can put some paint here or maybe some fun art, act um, art craft tools there. However, when I saw these, I thought differently. My head went to centers because this, I feel like kindergarten revolves around center-based learning. So I was thinking of maybe I can put a sheet here, a blank sheet or whatever, and here I can put different things. So one idea that I have is for those um, um, mini erasers that Target sells, a lot of them come with different themes. So hear me out here. You can put a sheet of paper similar to the ones that are like this with kind of where it has the, um, the lines and then a space for a drawing, but paper version, not dry erase board. Put that on here and they can use the the erasers to tell a story 
and then on the bottom write about it. I hope that makes sense. I will probably show this in another um, video, my kind of you know easy centers that I do in my classroom. And another thing that you can do with this is up here, same idea, you can put kind of like um, other mini erasures that are based on math practices and kind of have a blank sheet here where they can show you a story. Um, I'm thinking other things too, like if you want to put marbles up here, they can do that. It's like a, a place where everything is kept together. That way they are not, everything is like not everywhere as it happens in kindergarten. So I'm going to share some more ideas about this. I thought this was great. I got four of them. Of course, the colors are super bright. Don't go with my theme, but it is what it is. I think that they are very practical and for the price and the quality, it's very hard plastic. I do think that these will last in the classroom. Um, some other things that I got, which I don't need, but I'm like, they're so cute. I got these birthday badges that are just like sticker based and there are 48 of them for a dollar for the birthday. And the last thing that I got were these name tags. Now Target had these in their line last year and I believe the year before that. And I thought these were great just because they are simple. They're, there's no frills here. It's very basic what a kindergartner needs or anybody in the primary grades. Letters, numbers, shapes, left hand, right hand, and you can write their name. Now these do insert in those um, adhesive pocket thingies that Target sells, but I didn't find them. I do want to get them because I would like to use those um, on the kids' copies. So yeah. This was the last item that I purchased. So again, thank you guys so much for you know tuning in and staying to the end of the video. And I'm so happy that I was able to share with you all the things that I got, share my ideas with you. Um, please, if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments below. I am so happy that you are here. And please stay tuned for next uh, the next video where I'm gonna be sharing how parents can use these materials at home with their kiddos should remote instruction um, be the approach that your district may take during these unprecedented times where there's so much uncertainty. So as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe and I will see you guys soon.